Okay, you guys asked for this. How do the Galaxy Buds compare to the Apple AirPods Pro? I'm also going to add two more headphones, the Huawei FreeBuds 3 and this Anchor Soundcore Lin B2 Pro. Okay, you guys asked for this. How do the Galaxy Buds compare to the Apple AirPods Pro? I'm also going to add two more headphones, the Huawei FreeBuds 3 and this Anchor Soundcore Lin B2 Pro. Okay, so we know the AirPods Pro priced at $249, comes with a wireless charging case, uh, has a brand new design, has ear tips now, so it fits better. Shake your head, it's still gonna stay, although I don't like the fit that much just because it feels like it's gonna fall off, right? Um, it also has the ability to have, it also has noise cancellation and pass through. And you can actually change that by tapping and holding on your, your, on your earbud there. And pass through is really good. I would say active noise cancellation is solid on here with the Apple AirPods Pro. Now, uh, in terms of app features, not much, but Apple keeps things simple and easy. You can change uh, your noise cancellation in the volume settings of your, uh, your iPhone. Now, the Galaxy Buds retail for 129 came out early in the year, changed a lot of things. It's got a nice small pill like case, comes in multiple colors that gives you uh, wireless charging, USB Type-C, uh, fast charging there. Battery life is about 15 to 18, 18 hours, about five to six hours per, per, uh, per use of the earbuds. I do like the fit, the fit really well. They will not fall off, you can shake your head, you can dance, whatever you wanna do. They will stay in there, I do like that. Uh, the application itself, uh, the Galaxy Wear app, gives you some functionality. You can go through some EQ presets. You can also have uh, uh, pass-through uh, if you want because it's got a really tight seal. There's no noise cancellation on here, by the way. Uh, and it can focus on voice. Those things work out pretty well, I'd say. And again, the fit and feel is just really nice and solid. Now, number three here, the, uh, the Huawei FreeBuds uh, 3. They have uh, a very interesting style. They kind of have the similar style of the original AirPods, uh, and which means, of course, they are open, which would mean that when you're listening, you still have a lot of sound coming in. It does have active noise cancellation as well, and touch controls on the side. Uh, uh, all of them have touch controls, if you prefer, I would say. Now, the case comes with wireless charging built in. Uh, you do have about 20 or so hours uh, on the case and about five hours of listening with them. Uh, it's got the brand new current A1 chip, so connectivity is seamless. That's something you see with all three. Uh, they have seamless connectivity to devices. Uh, the current A1 chip works best, of course, directly with the Huawei device, but you can still connect via Bluetooth on your smartphone. Now, the app itself is an AI Lab app that gives you some functionality. You can go in, you can uh, remap the buttons uh, on there. Um, and of course, you can change your active noise cancellation on and off, but nothing too extensive. Now, the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pro from Anchor does come packed with a lot of features. I do like the case feel and look of it. Um, the case has wireless charging as well, so all of them have wireless charging. Uh, but the case gives you 32 hours of battery life. Neutral, a lot of battery life. And you do have eight hours per use. Four noise cancelling microphones on here. You've got something that also has an app that gives you some really cool features. Now the app goes a long way in. Uh, it helps maps your, 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 your listening profile. So it gives you a profile or you can go through a bunch of other profiles there. And I decided to go with the flat profile. Now, when it comes to active noise cancellation, who has the best? I gotta give it to Apple because the two of them don't. Galaxies and the Soundcore don't, and the Huawei, it's an open back, active noise cancellation just won't work for you there. So it just doesn't work. Now in terms of battery life, the Anchor takes the bait right there, because Anchor does well with batteries anyway. This has 32 hours, which is really, really cool. And the fit of both the Anchor and the Galaxy Buds work out really well. Now, speaking of audio, which is the main thing here, which is why you buy it through wireless buds, how do they sound? Now, we talked about the AirPods Pro in my other video when I compared it to the Sony WF-1000 Mark III, so go check them out. The Sonys are way ahead. To me, this is one of the best two wireless buds you can, you can pick up. And the AirPods are good. They have model, 
a little muddled bass there, so it kind of leaks into other parts. You can still hear things well. Vocals do come out well. They don't go as high. So if you're listening to a podcast or a documentary, they work out really well with that. But if you're listening to audio or someone singing, it doesn't really get the highs as much as you like. I use Michael Jackson's Beat It um, uh, to listen to, and I also use Rocket Man as my listening test for all four of these. Now, the Galaxy Buds, on the other hand, um, when you listen to them, you have to turn on one of the EQ settings. That's the best way to listen to them, and that's how they are built. Now, what I'll say though, the highs come up really well. I probably have one of the best highs out of all of these. Uh, and there's not much in terms of bass. That's where its problem lies. But I do like a flatter profile because I think that's just a better representation of the audio you're feeding in. If you have bass, the bass comes through, but it's not hefty in there. So it doesn't muddle a lot of the sound that you're listening to on. And I like that because it's really clear and really comes out uh, quite well. Uh, the Huawei Freebuds 3, I thought sounded good, but the open back design really took away from the listening. I really had to push them in, and they do fall out when you actually have that kind of design. So you shake my head, it doesn't work. So I had to push them in, and the active noise cancellation doesn't do much because, again, I'm just getting a lot of outside noise. So I couldn't give it a fair assessment because I could hear other things while listening to music. Um, and it's the, yeah, the open back, if I want that, then that's what you go for. Uh, while the Anchor uh, Liberty 2 Pros are quite interesting because you get some really nice sound profiles you can play with. You can map your own sound, which is really important. If you like that, you can go with that. But I decided to go with a flatter profile. They have a flat profile there that works really well. Uh, the bass is a little high, not as not as high as the as the AirPods Pro, but I like I like the sound stage it creates. Again, the, the fit is also pretty good. So the highs come out well. The mids are really good on this. This is really it's really good on the mids, I think. And the lows are, are just fine. But the sound profile is really good and it works out really well. Uh, for its price point of 150, it's pretty solid. So when it comes to sound, you know, I had a mixture here. I would say my my one and my number one A and one B are probably uh, the Galaxy Buds and the um, the Anchor. Uh, my number three would be the AirPods Pro, and my number four are the Huawei Free Buds because I couldn't really hear as much because of the open stuff. Now, finally, microphones, because of course you guys want to hear about that. Uh, all of them have built-in microphones, and if I were to rate the microphones in terms of order, the Galaxy Buds come in at number four. They are okay in a quiet setting like this, but outside, or if it's just even some more noise, it gets muddled. Samsung, please fix that in the next generation. Uh, my number three will actually go to the uh, Anchor um, uh, Soundcore. The Soundcore has good noise cancelling mics, but they tend to have that noise cancelling feel to it. So if, if it's a noisy area, it actually is beneficial, but if it's quiet, it doesn't. So I think they need to work on that, or maybe there's something they do in software to actually change some of that. Uh, now, my number two, surprisingly to some people, are the AirPods uh, Pro. Now, the AirPods Pro sound good. Don't get me wrong, the mic is really good on them. Um, and I have really no complaints, but I had some calls with a bunch of people and they told me that they preferred the sound of the Huawei uh, FreeBuds 3 and it does a really good job. I, I was able to have really good conversations with people could hear me quite clearly. I'll call it a 1A and 1B, uh, but you know, the Huawei FreeBuds really good. So there you have it guys, this is how they all pair off. If I were to rank all of them, uh, which are the best in this list here, uh, the Huawei FreeBuds are number four, Open, open back design doesn't really work for me and it doesn't work for a lot of people. You tend to lose a lot and the active noise transition doesn't work there. Um, but my number three is going to be quite interesting. People are going to fight because are the AirPods Pro. Yes, the AirPods Pro uh, have good improvements from the original AirPods, which I thought were trash. So for me, it's a st step above, but, and the audio is improved, but the model bass still comes in. It's really bass rich. So when I feed in tracks, and this is what you guys have to listen to is, Take tracks that have no bass and feeding, you get bass into it. That's not what the track was built for. Now the tracks that do have bass that it becomes enhanced, I feel like this is something that beats taught them. That's just how I feel with it. But I put them at number three. It's a good improvement, but not there. My number two are the Galaxy Buds. The Buds have a much more flatter feel, so there's really no bass. Um, so people who like bass will not like that. But the highs really come out well. Vocals are quite clear. 
clear, uh, very crisp sound. The sound stage is really good on them and really solid. And my number one are the Anchor. Now the Anchor uh, Soundcore Liberty 2 Pro have really good sound. Uh, the EQ settings uh, do a wonderful job. I went on a flat profile. I could really enjoy my listening here. You've got 32 hours of battery life, you've got wireless charging, you've got a, a decent microphone on there. Uh, I think a lot of it just says, look, this is solid. And it's priced at 150. So uh, it's basically it's cheap, it's basically the second cheapest uh, here, and it does a really good job in a lot of segments. So there you have it, guys. That is how I see how the Galaxy Buds, the AirPods Pro, the Huawei Free Buds, and the Anchor Sound for the B2 Pro stack. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you disagree with my ranking levels, yeah, leave me a, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.